Well, hello there. My name is Ed, and this is Pickup Leftovers of the Month, March 2018. So this is a type of video where I show you all the stuff that didn't get featured in any of the other videos I uploaded this month, and therefore it's called the Pickup Leftovers. Now I'm gonna try doing a little more with this segment. I've actually been toying around with the idea of doing a Q&A video, so if you guys have a question for me, uh, please leave it down in the comments below and I'll do a video about it. You can ask whatever you want. You <laughs> You can ask me anything guys so type away and I'll make sure that it gets featured in one of the next videos I, I really like all the support I'm getting from all you guys in the comment section so uh, I'm hoping there's gonna be some cool questions in there what have I been up to last month well I've actually gone out a lot with a friend of mine who was doing some camera work for me we shot around four episodes that will air in the next couple weeks it's gonna be a lot of editing but but I'm thinking that this is definitely going to be uh, a really some really cool videos for you guys so definitely stick around and subscribe if you haven't already but yeah let's get into some of the pickups of course I play in a band I always say I play in a band a couple weeks ago I was playing a show with a fellow collector who also who's also really into collecting Game Boy and SNES games and he said hey I still have this really cool item in my attic and I want you to have it so we met up at the show and he hands me over a bag uh, with some really cool stuff in it so he ended up giving me his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Road Ready Mutation Mikey, Construction Mikey. So, so this Michelangelo is basically a construction worker and he turns into a mixer truck. Now, of course, the box isn't in the best shape, but I think like with a bit of um, putting some weights on it to have the cardboard more straight again, this will actually look pretty good. Uh, all of All of the accessories are still in there. So yeah, it's crazy. This is from his childhood. So cool! thanks so much for handing me over this and handing me over a mutation shredder, which I also did not yet have. So cool! thank you so much for these two items. They're gonna go into my collection. I'll, they'll never leave me. And uh, yeah, I hope we get to share the stage loads of other times this year and just have a blast. Then uh, moving on to the new segment, which is the news segment. Um, I don't know. Loads of uh, other YouTubers are talking about stuff that's going on in YouTube or on the news. I figured this is the perfect um, video to do it in uh, the end of the month wrap up. One of the most odd things that happened is that the big chain stores known as Toys R Us are going to get shut down in America. Um, now, of course, I'm from Europe. I have never seen a Toys R Us store over here in Europe I think maybe they had uh, a small segment of stores in Holland but I'm not sure on that however I went over to Canada a couple years ago and I did pick up something there at at a Toys R Us because I knew they had these things because they were t Toys R Us exclusives um, and yeah uh, I, I took some pictures, so I'll probably put the pictures up over here from when I went over there. It was just when the Legacy Collection for the Power Rangers came out, but that was a bit too expensive. I mean, it's really cool and all. They're made out of die cast, most of these big Megazords and stuff, but yeah, that wasn't really um, what I was gonna drag along on the airplane. But I did pick up this one item. So I did pick up this uh, new Classic Collection TMNT van. Uh, I still haven't opened it yet, but yeah, this thing is awesome. Of course, I had this as a kid and it was so cool to see this. Now, it was actually tucked away. Uh, it was on top of one of the shelves and it was the last one there. Now, they were having a discount sale or a uh, blowout or something like that. Um, they had a clearance there, <laughs> that's what, what you guys call it. And uh, it, it used to be 40 Canadian dollars and now it was only 20, so that's also a really cool steal. So 
that's like the only memory I have from going to Toys R Us. I'm happy that I can share the memory through this one item, this one awesome turtle item and share the memory with you guys. Of course, it's sad that uh, this big chain where probably most of you guys got most of their toys and had some really cool childhood memories are going away. Uh, it's a shame, but hopefully some other chains will pick it up and uh, keep the locations open. We'll have to wait and see about that, of course. Talking about Toys R Us now, I actually went over to a toy store that's still around from when I was a kid and I filmed there a little bit, so I'm going to show you that to show you what a typical toy store looks like over here in Europe. Um, this is not a chain, so... It, it, it does like uh, gardening stuff too, but there's a really big section of toy stuff there. So enjoy the next couple of seconds or minutes. I don't know how long I'm gonna make it. Then we're moving on to some games. Now, this is the current gen games that I picked up. Uh, of course, I have a Switch. I don't have an Xbox or a PS4. I, I just play Nintendo stuff really. Um, if I'm afraid if I'm gonna get a PlayStation 4, I'm gonna end up buying all of the uh, limited run games and all stuff like that. So yeah, uh, I picked up two Switch games this month. I went over to Game Mania, which is kind of the equivalent of GameStop over in America. Over at this Game Mania, which is about a 15 minute drive away from my house, um, they still had the SNES Mini. Now, it's just out there. So over here in Europe, it looks like you can pretty much get the SNES Mini still anywhere. Now, uh, there's a couple of games I picked up over there. I picked up Kirby Star Allies. I've been playing this with my daughter. It's really fun. It's nostalgic but it's super easy guys so yeah <laughs> don't expect a challenge from this game it is cool how all of the characters work together because you can create a team of four uh, characters that you're playing with um, most of it is CPU but you can actually play I think four player on this yeah you can play with four people at the same time I just play it with my daughter right now and I mean she's two years old and she's getting further in the game so it's really not that difficult the other game i picked up is axiom verge now this is the multiverse edition and yeah it includes the game cartridge it includes a blu-ray it includes an art book and a double-sided poster with world map and an official soundtrack cd so this is basically the first collector's edition i got for switch uh it's nice to see something cool apart from just this this box thing that usually doesn't even hold a manual in it so i haven't started playing this one yet but i have seen a lot of people online playing it it's kind of a metroid-esque game and it's definitely one i'm gonna end up playing right after i finish kirby then this was actually supposed to be in the last pick of leftovers but it didn't come in till uh like two or three days later when i filmed it now this is a prize guide book for all the nes pal b games um a couple of other youtubers made this they're from germany they're called nes commando uh dennis and marcel really put their heart and soul into this book uh it basically includes all of the PAL B released games with some extra info on them as well in German as in English. So you can uh, so you can actually read it. Don't worry about that. It has the rarity meter. It's from collectors. It's for collectors, and all 339 PAL B games are included um, in there. You have just pictures of the cartridge you can the rarity you get how much a loose game goes for and how much a completed box game goes for for these uh, now this is really good to bring along when you're going to a convention to make sure you don't overpay anything so I was really excited to get this book and uh, yeah thanks guys for sending it over um, 
I've already been using it a lot, like at last convention I used it, so you might be seeing a little bit more of this. Talking about books, <laughs> a friend of mine actually gave me a couple of comics. Now, these are American comics. Over here we don't really get American comics. I mean, you could buy them, um, but over here there's this whole other comic collectors thing going on. It's mainly like Suske and Whiske, Asterix, Kikaboo, uh, Urbanus, all that kind of stuff. Now those books have like kind of a hardcover, so they're not like these flimsy type of books, but there's still loads of people looking for them. Now what I used to read was actually reissues of these Marvel comics. Now. They would come out over here on Junior Press, so you would have Spider-Man, Peter Park, it would come out on Junior Press and they would uh, alter the dialogue to Dutch, so as a kid you could read it. I did end up buying like American comics over at one store when I was little uh, with my grandfather, but yeah. So it's really cool to get some of these uh, Marvel comics. So. This is Marvel Super Heroes Super Special from the summer of 1991, Power Pack. This has a great cover, you see Storm, um, Wolverine, so is some of the X-Men in there. Uh, that's a cool cover. Then, <laughs> the Avengers and the Amazing Spider-Man, um, number 348, so yeah, cool cover there. Guardians of the Galaxy, the re-enter of Starhawk, another Spider-Man comic, and a Revenge of the Sinister Six Part 3. That's like the thing with these comics, they're usually in a couple of parts, so you kind of piece them, you kind of have to piece them together, um, but yeah, still a cool cover, I'll probably read it anyways. So then we have X-Factor, and we have number one. Uh, the, the first issue, a collector's item, as it were, from Sleepwalker, from Sleepwalker. Now, I've never heard of this comic before, but I'll definitely check it out. So, thank you so much. This is actually the dude that mostly does all my camera stuff. So, I don't know why he's still giving me stuff. I mean, you do so much for me. Thank you so much for always coming along and filming me. Um, but yeah, these are going in the collection. Thank you so much. And then of course we got retro game pickups. <laughs> because I mainly collect retro games, you can see that. And also lots of turtles. Now these are just two boxes. I picked up a box for Winter Olympics and the box for Jungle Strike, the sequel to Desert Strike. Now the Jungle Strike series is pretty cool. Uh, I like playing these as a kid. Um, and yeah, this in this way I have a complete inbox copy because I still have the manual. And then I also picked up a couple of boxed NES games, some OVP <laughs> uh, NES games. So yeah, these were four games I was missing. Well, one I wasn't missing actually. I already had the cartridge for this, but I wanted to upgrade it to a box copy. This is Mega Man 3. Who doesn't know Mega Man by now? The Blue Bomber, come on guys. Um, yeah, these are just the perfect uh, running gun platformer games on the NES. Um, I don't think I've really played Mega Man 3 a lot. So in this game you can call Rush, which is your dog droid, which allows you to jump higher and stuff. Um, yeah, definitely glad to upgrade this to a boxed copy. Then I got a shooter from Bandai, this is Xevious. Um, CV is the Avenger. It's a shooter. I remember getting this for the Game Boy Advance because it was part of the NES Classics series and I played it a bit but to me it doesn't feel like one of the best shooters. There's a lot more better shooters out there but I mean it's a playable game so glad to add it to the collection. I didn't have it yet and right away I get a box copy. 
Then I got Mario and Yoshi. Now this is a type of uh, tetris -y puzzle game. Um, you, you can control two panels each time and there's four rows and you need to uh, put together stuff so it, it, it disappears. So this is a fun puzzler. I thought I had the game because I had Yoshi's Cookie, but Yoshi's Cookie is a different game. I double checked and then I was like, oh, I need this one too. <laughs> And then I got Tetris 2, the Betty edition. Um, I haven't played Tetris 2. To me, it seems like it just looks a bit better, maybe more colors. So there's a couple of more puzzling things in here. Um, you can also do a lineup of tree blocks and then they explode. And there's also flash blocks in here. So yeah didn't have this game. <laughs> I'm very glad to add these four games to the collection. So that was it for this pickup leftovers. I'm glad with all the stuff I got to add, all the toys, all the games, the comic books. Um, yeah, and now I'm going to start editing for the next episode, so be sure to stick around, leave a thumbs up, leave down in the comments if you have any questions for me. I'm going to do that Q&A video whether you like it or not. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next week on Monday because that's when I put out a video every week. See you guys. Bye.